Pellerick over here as visionary, uh, with Xamarin taking the lead by a little bit. Uh, once again, a lot of text, I won't read it all to you. Uh, you can read it at your leisure, but I, I included this specifically because this comes off the Gartner report. It's a list of the strengths and the cautions. Um, Gartner reports aren't always easy to come by, so I wanted you to have the text to it. But in summary, basically what they're saying here is the strengths are that you can build fully native apps uh, with C-sharp. Uh, the, the bits that actually execute on the phone in the CPU are native bits. It's not an interpreted layer. Um, it's compiled down to a native app. Uh, extensive tooling, including Visual Studio that we all know and love, and uh, they have strong partnerships in the industry with component builders. Uh, you'll see a lot of that with uh, Microsoft and the Visual Studio 2015 product. Their biggest caution was that they have weaker support for all the stuff in the SDLC outside of coding. Um, this is the, your bug tracking and uh, uh, issue user stories, uh, testing, that sort of thing. This picture gets much better with Visual Studio 2015. With Xamarin and Microsoft partnered to integrate a lot of this in. So a lot of what you get with the ALM tools, the TFS uh, Visual Studio, you can uh, use with Xamarin uh, as it gets integrated. Also, because they focus on the front end, some of the other uh, vendors like Telerik actually has some server side, uh, some cloud services, uh, push notifications, things like that, that that they offer that provide some of that back end to the solution. With Xamarin, you're kind of on your own for a lot of that. You just have to use something. Uh, Microsoft and Xamarin partnering, of course, will tell you, well, it's natural, you're going to go use Azure and whatever uh, solutions, you, uh, services you need from there. But you can, you can use whatever you want for the back end. And they have a small company. I guess that's a caution. Okay, so you've decided on Xamarin. Hopefully you get through this uh, thought process. You say, I'm going to use the Xamarin technologies, but what am I, what what approach do I want to use? Because you can do Xamarin, iOS and Xamarin Android, and you can have three distinct projects. Your Xamarin iOS, your Xamarin Android, and your Windows Phone 8 project. Separate code base, same problem, but at least you have shared skills. So you know the skills. But uh, Or you can go with Xamarin Forms, where you'll get all three of the platforms that are available today with one shared code base. And that's what I'll, I'll show you uh, in one of my demos here. So I've got a few demo slides here. I'm just going to zip through these and uh, get out of. Now, how many of you are Mac users? OK. I've been using a Mac for about a month. I've never presented with one. Somehow I need to be able to tell it because you're not seeing my screen. Right? What's the equivalent to changing the display? You know how to change the display so it's easy? I'm a new Mac user. Okay. <laughs> Me too. We'll <laughs> figure it out. Um, You're seeing what looks like my second secondary screen. screen. Yeah. And so I don't know how to switch that in. Over here at the top, that's supposed to get the. Uh, you can be under your display settings and switch it over. Oh, there's the displays, isn't it? Yeah, displays. I think you should have a. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you should have a, you know, at the bottom here, you should have a... Uh, yeah, but they're still not seeing Android Studio. One second. Scale. Mirror displays. Okay. Is that, is that too small for you? Uh, I can see over here. Okay. Deal with it. Try that. See if that works. Mm, yeah. 
the X out there. And then okay. I think you were already on the Android Studio. Yeah. Let's see that loads. Okay, this yeah, is a tiny still, screen. It's still loading, yeah. But and, uh, let's see here. Right there. <laughs> it's not done loading the stuff here. Once it gets up, it'll be a little time. Uh, as that's loading, does anybody have any questions or? Uh, yeah, I loaded Xamarin Studio last night. It didn't look anything like that <laughs> on my Mac. Um, oh, well, what I just loaded was not Xamarin Studio. That was Android Studio. Oh. I'm going to bring up an Android app, and we're going to take the Java and copy it into Visual Studio and run it. Let's see. That's one option, but I think we can do better. Thank you. Uh, are you trying to give me more real estate? Yeah, I'm just trying to see. Any other thoughts or questions or? Usually just that. No other Mac users? <laughs> if I don't blur. The, uh, you have to have a Mac in order to build iOS. Um, you can build everything else on Windows, but you have to have a Mac. Probably if, if I was going to do this on a regular basis, I would not use a MacBook, but you can actually network the Mac build host. There's a, there's a Xamarin piece that runs on the Mac side that actually handles all the builds, kind of like a little build server right, on the Mac. And then Visual Studio will communicate with that. You can do that over the network, um, but I didn't want to have to bring a network up here to present with, sure. so I did it all on a MacBook. Yeah, we can just live with whatever we do. And there is your Android Studio. So that's Android Studio. That's it. No. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yep. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'm running. Yeah, you know, that's my version control. I'm running in parallels, so I've actually got Windows 8.1 on the Mac as well as uh, Mac OS. And you'll see. You're not going to be able to see this very well. We zoom in. This is a very simple app. Okay. This is Android Studio. Anybody who's done Android development, you'll recognize this. Some text views. I have uh, the line there is what's essentially a text box. I've got a button, and then I've got a web view. It's a kind of a common uh, setup for an Android app. And let me, since I don't need my not working projector thing, I'm going to use my actual phone instead of the emulator. I can run the emulator on here, but it is really, really slow. And I'll pass the to that. Yeah. And then I should get here. There we go. Okay, there's my phone. Um, so let's do a quick run. This is coming straight out of the Android Studio. Really cramped. Let's see down here. This is where you really want multiple screens. You get your Visual Studio in one, emulators on another. This long, 
this app. Any other thoughts while we wait for <laughs> my blazing fast machine to get through this? If, uh, if you trust me that the Android app works, we can move on. This is the actual Java Android app. So the real exciting part will be when we convert this into C-sharp, when we run it as C-sharp. All it's going to do is let me type my name in, and it's going to change the text to have my name in it. Typical hello world, you know. What is your name? Hello. All right. Ken. So I'm not going to wait for that. The code for this is in GitHub. Uh, it's uh, the I created a new organization for it called uh, CLE.net. C-L-E-D-O-T-N-E-T. -E -E and uh, it's got this is the code for the Android, and then this is the code for the Xamarin forms that you'll see in a moment. Okay. Um, I don't see where it shows the username up there, but it's C L E D O T N E T. Okay, so the real fun though is going to be when we create I miss my mouse. Something It's like when we refactored the screen. Oh. Use your mouse no more. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I can't use your mouse. I don't have another USB port. Oh, it's port. not USB port? Oh. <laughs> it, uh, is it a MacBook Air? No. Oh, no. Okay. No, but it uh, looks like my Visual Studio. Let's quit. I didn't want to have to quit Visual Studio because that's a big one to come up. You're running Visual Studio natively on the Mac? No, I'm running it in Parallels. Wow. What he meant, means to say is yes, he is. <laughs> no, it's, no. it's Windows 8.1. Okay. <laughs> and it's not killing it either. You need to force quit it, huh? You got a lot of stuff running. Um, together. Nothing's big yeah. except for Visual Studio. Case. I've yeah. got a text yeah. editor. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the build host, <coughs> so you can see all it is is this little thing that Visual Studio communicates to. And I don't, I don't know why Visual Studio isn't responding. I think your uh, virtual machine is paused, I believe. No. No? Those are, those are That's parallel lines. Panels. Oh, okay. It means it's a parallel okay. app. <laughs> yeah, see, this is... Oh, okay. So it's responding. This is uh, Windows. Let me uh, okay. kill it with Windows. One thing that you'll learn you get into playing with Xamarin, because there's so many pieces talking to each other, you know, you've got both the, op the two different operating systems and then they're talking to the emulators. I found many, many times where what I have to do is shut everything down, do a rebuild all. I do lots of rebuild all. So get the whole solution rebuilt. Um, there, an, you want to watch versions of things real closely too. NuGet likes to update stuff, and so I'll find where I've got a library that's like a couple of dot versions different than uh, on one from my Android project to my iOS project, and you get these mismatched references, and the result is errors that don't make sense. It's not you know, this is the wrong version. It's going to be one of those hex code crash errors. 
I uh, shut everything down, I restart and rebuild everything. And starting from a known good state, it uh, unless it's real body, it always works. Okay, we'll wait for Visual Studio to wake up. While, let's see if I have, uh, okay, here we go. New project. And I'm just going to create a blank app in Android. You'll get all these templates when you have uh, Xamarin installed. And let's call it Hello Cleveland. <coughs> this low resolution is going to drive me crazy. What was this, G640 by <laughs> I, I don't know. It's probably 800 by 600 or something. Yeah. So it, Xamarin, the Xamarin templates will give you a working Hello World kind of app. Yeah. Um, like most of the Microsoft templates do, which includes the Xamarin Forms uh, template. It gives you a full solution with a project for iOS, a project for Android, and a project for Windows Phone. And then you can just you know go from there and start to build up uh, your solution. I have a question. Yes. So for your GitHub, uh, the uh, repositories that you have checked in, uh, would you need Xamarin Studio or Xamarin Platform or iOS or Android? Or oh yeah. If if you want to run the, yeah, the Android the one is the Android Studio Please. source code. So okay. if you have Android Studio, which is totally free, yeah. you can build that and run it on an Android phone. Okay. Uh, the purpose for the source code, though, is to have you convert it. Right. Um, but to run the Xamarin Forms, you would need to have Xamarin Forms. Right. You can get it at the free level, but the free level limits the size. And I was working with with, uh, with I was not working with the free level, so I don't know if my application size fits within the limits. Do you remember what the constraints are on that? Uh, it was really small, though. Yeah. I think they increased it. Did they? Recently, but I still think it's very. So small. you could try it, okay. but they give you like a 30-day free trial. So if you if it doesn't run, it'll when you when you load the project, it'll tell you, hey, this is too big. You need to upgrade. Go get a trial, and then you can build it. Right. To see it. So here's here's the empty uh, project. Now I always start by adding all my resources first because my code is going to reference them. If you've done any Android development, you know that you know everything is in resource files. Basically, XML files storing uh, everything. Here's a view of the. While that's loading, I'll show you. Yeah, here's here's my my uh, layout resource for the the little app <coughs> that I was not able to get to run on the Android for you, but you saw in the designer. It's it's not XAML, but it's kind of XAML-ish in its approach to defining the the uh, layout. So. I'm just going to select all of this, copy this from text, and then so here's the what the template gave me. Delete that and paste in mine. Exactly the same. 
It's just XML. Uh, XAML.android knows how to load standard Android layout. The next thing I need to bring in are my strings. Let's see. And my layout uses some uh, dimensions. There's another kind of resource in Android that are dimensions, you know, sizes and stuff. Uh, they don't, they're not provided in the default template. So I'm just going to add a new XML file to store those in 